Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you a little story of how I ended up catching COVID-19. Now, this all started last year in late October, so I don't have COVID anymore. That was only a one-time thing, and hopefully it doesn't occur again, because that one time I ended up catching COVID was just, just sucked, but it wasn't that bad as I expected. So, it all started last year, late October, like I said, when I was in third period of my photography class, and for some reason I started losing my sense of taste and smell, so I informed my teacher that the the first symptom I had, and I ended up going to the nurse, but I really didn't want to, you know, be like, you know, homeschooled for two weeks because, you know, being homeschooled and being on online class was just a pain in the butt. I preferred being in face to face, but due to my um, circumstances of, you know, having one symptom of COVID and two, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I ended up going to the nurse's office. The nurse called my mom. And then after that, I went to the ER to see if I can get tested if I had if I have COVID-19. And that wait in the ER took so fucking long. Like, my God, like, if there has ever been like a waiting process just so you can get tested to see if you have COVID, it was a pain in my butt. I had to wait in the um in the lobby and then I, I got this escorted into a nice room and then I had to wait there. And then finally someone shows up. And she gives me like a little um, Q-tip and she shoves it up one of my nostrils, one of my nose holes. And it felt so uncomfortable. It was like a burning sensation up in my nose. Like she was trying to like burn something in there. But she probably dipped some like some sort of alcohol just so she can get some sort of DNA something to see if I have COVID. It felt so uncomfortable though. I know she was just doing her little procedure, you know, being a doctor or um, a scientist or whatever. But anyway, that test was done. It took like a few minutes. Then the tests came back and the results were positive. I ended up testing positive for COVID-19. So I had to be quarantined for two weeks. And I had to be in online class. So that means I had to get up on my Google Chromebook and sign into Google Classroom every single day and do the assignments. It took me a while to get used to being on online school and stuff like that. But I still missed my, my acquaintances and my teachers while I was at home being isolated. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the first night when I was at home, I ended up crying a little bit because of the un the it was so uncomfortable. After the first symptom of losing my sense of taste and smell, the second symptom I had was shortness of breath. And it didn't feel too bad. It just felt really uncomfortable to the point where I felt like pressure on my chest. Like like slight pressure on my chest, like someone put a dumbbell right on my chest. It felt pretty uncomfortable. And during all that time, I laid in my room crying because I didn't, I didn't want to die. I was scared that how the symptoms are gonna get worse, but thankfully it didn't. There were only mild symptoms of, you know, COVID. I only up I only ended up having two symptoms and that's it. And after several days, a week and two weeks went by, I was cured. I was I came back negative and they said I was free to go back to school and I still had to wear a mask. The funny part is when I ended up catching COVID, I don't even know how I caught it. Like back last year I ended up I had we had to wear a mask in school, of course, but the only time I ended up going to places is at home and at school. I didn't go anywhere else unless my mom wanted me to go to run some errands with her, but it was rare occasions. So the only time I went places was at home and at school. 
And the only time I get to take my mask off was during lunchtime. So maybe someone ended up having COVID without them realizing it, and they ended up catching that um, virus over to me. It just, I don't even know how I got it. Maybe someone gave it to me during lunchtime. Like they had barriers on the lunch tables and we take our masks off just so we can eat our food. And then after we're done, we just put it back on. So a year has passed by and I haven't had any other COVID symptoms since then. And I also, also one more thing, I ended up getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and so did my dad after a while and I did experience some little symptoms like my body started to feel warm I started to feel chills and um, started to feel a little fatigue and a slight headache maybe it's been a while since I've had the vaccine but after after a couple of days I started to feel better and my dad I think he started to feel some symptoms too but it wasn't that bad sure it was you know a little uncomfortable to experience those symptoms but it wasn't that bad. The shot didn't hurt at all, and I feel great, and I hope I don't catch COVID again. And those of you who, who've who been through people who have who had COVID, and if you experienced COVID yourself, I'm hoping that all of you guys are doing well, and if anyone you know has COVID, I hope you wish them luck and send them prayers because that will surely help a lot. It may not do a whole bunch, but it may, I'm sure it will help some. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.